A very warm afternoon to all of you who are present and connected with us today. When I stand before God at the end of my life, I would hope that I would not have a single bit of talent left and could say, I used everything you gave me. Well, with those lines and a great spirit, I welcome the talent of Asian Education Group to the grand finale of Talent Hunt Competition 2020 with the theme, Explore Your Potential. This is an occasion which we all should celebrate each other for numerous reasons. Each one of us is unique. Each one of us is worth celebrating. When I talk about the rationale behind this kind of an event, it is purely that Asian Education Group believes in growth with education. For us, the non-collegiate activities such as dance, music, acting, sports, etc. are as important as academics are. This is not only encouraging for the students at a personal level, but helps them become more resourceful and confident professional. Understanding that every student is special and has a bag full of talent, Asian Education Group Talent Hunt Competition 2020 meant to help students explore their potential, wherein the students who've taken admission in 2020 batch were required to prepare a video of duration of about 60 seconds on any of the topics that interested them. Just to mention, the same may have been related to sports, fitness, music, dance, literary activities, or anything under the sun which you were passionate about. To make the things more exciting, the winner shall win an Apple smartwatch, so indeed this effort was worth it. And I'm sure you all are very, very excited for the finale. Well, I'm very proud to announce that all our students were so motivated and stepped forward with such creative ideas and expressed their lustrous selves through these videos. All the videos received were judged by our panelists who honestly expressed how tough that job was to shortlist them for the finale as most of them were so special in its own sense. So firstly, students, I would like all of you to applaud yourself and each other for being so adaptable and yet extremely creative during this new novel and we were able to conduct such a grand event online. When I say that the event is grand in nature, so how could we keep the finale normal? We have amongst us none other than the leading Indian film actress Miss Karishma Tanna. Well, this is another lead session, but this surely will be an exquisite one due to the weighty presence of our guest today. Ms. Karishma Tanna, a beauty inside out, is an example of a self-made woman. Ms. Karishma Tanna is an Indian film, television actress, model and anchor who predominantly works in Indian films and shows. She made her debut in Kyunki Saas Bhi Kabhi in 2001. She's well known for her roles in Naga Arjun, Ek Yodha, and Kayamat Ki Raat. She was a contestant and first runner-up in the reality show Big Boss in 2014. She also appeared in other reality shows like Zara Nach Ke Dikha in 2008, Nach Balia in 2015, and Jhalak Dikhlaja in 2016. Ms. Tanna made her film debut in Nandini Thapur in Bollywood industry with Sunil Darshan's Dosti, Friends Forever in 2006. In 2013, she was part of Indira Kumar's successful comedy, Grand Masti. In 2018, she featured in Rajkumar Hirani's biopic of Sanjay Dutt titled Sanju. Ms. Tanna appeared in Balaji Telefilm's soap opera, Kyunki Saas Bhi Kabhi Bahuti from July 2000 to November 2008. Big eight years of success. Her role in all the platforms was highly applauded and she became a recipient of numerous awards. She also appeared in Balaji Telefilm's drama production, Kahi To Milenge from 2002 to 2003. Ms. Tanna was a celebrity contestant in the popular colors show, Big Boss 8, which started airing in September 2014. 
She spent full four months inside the house and became a finalist and first runner up there. She was known for being vocal of her opinions and as an audience, we could all see the most courageous side and an extremely strong personality there. In March 2016, Ms. Karishma made a guest appearance in the popular stunt reality show, Fear Factor Khatro Ke Khilari in its seventh season. In 2020, she participated in Colors TV stunt reality show, Fear Factor Khatro Ke Khilari 10 and emerged as a winner. Again, she became a strong example of how one should tame his or her fear and stand out. Time and again, she's proven that with will and persistence, one can take a very, very long way and surely a long way of success. Well, that sort of an introduction probably would inspire most of us. We truly delighted to host you and with a very, very warm heart, we welcome you at Asian Education Group. Hi, how are you? We're all very fine and I think very, very excited to hear from you, your journey of life. Yes, of course. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so welcome all the students. I'm really, really excited and glad to be a part of uh, this event. And uh, it's supposed to be the finale. And I'm really, really um, excited uh, to be a part of Asian Education Group. And um, thank you so much, Garima ma'am, for having me over. Um, Pleasure. It's a pleasure too. Um, my experience, uh, you know, I started at a very young age. I can start from literally scratch. I come from a very, um, uh, I wouldn't say very orthodox, but a decently orthodox Gujarati family. Like, you know, uh, people will relate to me because, you know, generally Gujarati families are um, strictly known for this industry. You know, like they're like, Are ladki bigger jayegi. And, you know, this industry is not good back then. I'm talking about like literally 15, 16 years back. So they were not very excited. And I was in Sydney College and there was this photography section where they clicked my pictures that, that those amateur photographers in the um, college click my pictures. And they're like, you know, you have a little photogenic face. So I think you should pursue it. And I just randomly gave it. Um, um, to a lot of, uh, you know, ad agencies and all that. And I started getting calls for auditions. And when my father got to know that, you know, Karishma is giving auditions and Karishma is wanting to get into modeling and all. So he was not very happy with it. And I told this to my mother that, you know, I'm really um, excited or I really want to pursue my career in modeling or maybe acting. So my mother was the only one who was um, supporting me. My father didn't support me. My cousins, my family, my, I, I live in a joint family. I used to live in a joint family. So they all didn't support me. But I had my vision. You know, at a very young age, a lot of people are confused. And uh, they don't know what they want to do with their life and their career. Because at that age, at 16, 17, 18, you sometimes want to do something else. You sometimes want to do something else. But even I, before getting into modeling or something and maybe I wanted to become an air hostess or maybe I wanted to get into some ad agency you know behind the cameras but then when I thought that I do have the potential to uh, be a part of um, uh, modeling so I thought why not give it a try so I did uh, go against my dad and my dad didn't speak to me for six months but um, I believed in myself and I thought that you know I want to go against the odds I do not want to have a typical Marry life. I want to go ahead and pursue my dreams. I want to be independent and I want to make a mark for myself because I have always seen uh, too much struggle in my life. As in, I would not say in my life, in my dad's life. I come from a very uh, middle class family where um, the joint family was kind of troubled and um, uh, there were a lot of ups and downs. You know, people generally think that actors' ki life mein kuch nahi hota hai. everything is very fancy. Everything is very uh, dreamy, but it's not that. We also have our troubles and I we also have kind of troubled uh, uh, past. So uh, I always thought that, you know, what, whatever I have gone through with my family and my dad has uh, struggled a lot, I would give the kind of luxury uh, my family deserves. So I wanted to be independent and I got into this acting industry and then I started giving auditions, look tests, 
एंड देन आई गॉट बालाजी स्क्यू की सास भी कभी बहू थी दैट वॉज माई फर्स्ट एवर फैमिली शो एंड आई टू बी एन आर्डन फैन वॉचिंग दैट ऑन टीवी एंड सडनली आई गेट अ कॉल फॉर दैट शो आई वॉज लिटरली इन शॉक सो आई वेंट फॉर दिशन आई गेव माई ऑडिशन द ऑडिशन वॉज रियली बैड बट आई वॉज कॉन्फिडेंट दैट सम वे सम हाउ यू नो बालाजी विल कॉन्टैक्ट मी एंड दे डिड एंड then there was no looking back you know like ekta ma'am really liked me she believed in me and i went um and i got the part and then gradually my dad started feeling good about it because everybody used to say that aapki beti bahut acha kar rahi thi tv pe so then he understood that okay this industry is not that bad also so then gradually started speaking to me so um moral of the story is do not give up on your dreams lot of girls you know in um, india especially um they come and they they have a lot of family baggage that you know family is saying ke shaadi kar lo ya to career bana kar kya hoga and all that so to all the girls out there whoever is listening me please if you have the vision if you have the courage you must follow your dreams you must be independent it just gives you a different um confidence in life and uh, you don't have to um you know do what others say listen to your um, mind listen to your heart you just have one life just live it to the fullest i would just say that yeah well thank you so much for giving such a beautiful lesson to our students they they all have just one life and as a motto at asian education group we always promote our students to bring the best out of them not just academically but uh, in their co curricular aspects as well So Ms Tana we have seen you always on television in movies in in fact in your uh, in news uh, you know interviews as well that there's always a constant smile and a tinge of positive attitude that has uh, you know overflown across your performances and wherever you live as well how do you maintain that attitude and what do you believe is the importance of positivity in life See that attitude comes naturally because I am um, naturally a very happy person. Of course, with um, few ups and downs, you know, you sometimes become negative and sometimes uh, get frustrated in life. But mm-hmm. uh, um, hold on, sorry. Yeah, you sometimes become frustrated in life, but then you have to pull yourself up. You have to keep uh, giving self motivational talk to yourself that you know things will be fine, everything will fall in place. you know so if you don't talk to yourself then you just get into that deep hole that dark hole which just pulls you down so in this industry especially it is very important to be positive because our industry and our life is not very um straight and certain we have a lot of dips we have a lot of highs also so when we have the high enjoy that success when we have the lows we kind of try to be positive so every time you see me happy and all that i'm either really happy or either either i'm trying to be uh, really happy so the universe listens you know so a lot of people think that our uh, actresses life and actors life is very fancy and you know very dreamy and very we have a lot of perks and we un- we we you know people un- recognize us and it's a very good life it is a good life we do understand that but it is also a lot of hard work it's a lot of um, hard breaks hardship <laughs> you know heartbreaks when i say heartbreaks if, if i want to do a particular role and i don't get that it is a heartbreak mm-hmm. why didn't i get it but then you have to move on and you have to focus on the positive things so that's why the attitude comes from there basically true so probably we learn the hard way right. isn't it i have always learned the hard way it's never anything nothing has come to me easily nothing you know your interview i've heard one of your interview when you used the statement there that uh, life mein sirf struggle hota hai aur struggle zaruri hai and you always learn the hard way so how do we deal with struggles actually and of course as you mentioned women and our young students who are here with us they will always face rejections in life i'm sure each one of us does so how do we deal with rejections constructively of uh, rejections are not very um acceptable thing rejections are not very um you know um happy uh, emotion i would say uh, it is difficult to accept a um, rejection very very difficult but um, it takes a little time i would say that 
let it hurt let it um feel let the heart and the let the mind and let the you know the feeling be there get it over with the best thing is to be aware of what is happening with you you know if there is rejection take your time okay i have been rejected this is not happening with the way i wanted to happen but let's move on let's target the other things in life because there are a lot of things my mother always has taught me that beta agar niche life ke niche dekhkar chalegi to hamesha sukhi rahegi agar upar dekhegi mujhe ye chahiye mujhe wo chahiye to hamesha dukhi rahegi so i always see people who are under me who really are aspiring to be karishma tanna who really want to achieve the success i have achieved Mm-hmm. rather than seeing that oh acha this actress who's doing films and this actress who's got more than me i will always be unhappy so I always see be- people below me who are aspiring or who are motivated to be me so then i get really happy indeed very beautifully quoted every individual has some talent or the other we believe and most of the times we do not give sufficient time and energy you know to what is really required and what we passionate about what would you say on that sorry sorry that usually every individual has got some talent or the other but in this fast pace of life even students are always academically inclined and they don't give sufficient energy to their passion so mm-hmm. what do you have to say about that as in um because there are students and there is a lot of pressure uh, they have to kind of balance two lives but mm-hmm. i would say that if you want to shine out you have to work a little extra you have to work a little hard because um, i can give you my example i was 16 and i was in college that time and i juggled from my college life to my shooting life and my friends and my professors and everybody didn't understand that they are like what makeup laga kar aa jati college mein but i had to explain them that i have started shooting and i have my career so there was too much pressure i used to cry in the night that oh my god i don't know um uh, tomorrow is my uh, exam and i don't know what to write tomorrow but i used to like really study full night so i used to take that pressure and mm-hmm. i used to work hard so the pressure will always be there you are in this life you are in this world there will be pressure so you have to accept the fact that there will be pressure a lot of people um um can't take the pressure a lot of people just give up that you know we can't take pressure but you have to a lot of people you know take their lives i just feel all these thoughts should not come in anybody's mind because always think about your parents always think that this life which god has given you is very precious people die to um survive in this world people do <laughs> whatever things to survive in this world and if we just give up on that which is so beautiful it's not fair to god i feel so take the pressure take that rejection and move on and i swear you will get a lot of success i swear true so probably uh, being persistent and uh, you know try to balance things out and that is how they can succeed right when we look at your uh, winning khatro ke khiladi uh, which requires a lot of uh, you know physical fitness and big boss that requires a lot of mental fitness so what is your fitness mantra <laughs> actually um, you know people generally say that in khatro ke khiladi uh, you require a lot of physical um, fitness it's not that when you go in the show it requires a lot of mental strength you need a lot of mental stability physical comes secondary in khatro ke khiladi of course there is running and there is stamina and all that but if you are mentally so strong nothing can beat you and i didn't know it shocked myself that i was this mentally strong because uh, physically so of course i i work out a lot since years and also i was not worried about physical uh, strength i mean in girls i can almost beat a lot of girls uh, in physical strength because um, I, you know i work out since a lot of years but in this uh, reality show you have to have a uh, mental men, me, um, mind calm you know you need to have your mind calm where um, if you see a creepy crawly or if you see snakes or if you see height you can't be baffled you can't be are baap re mere se nahi hoga you have to keep your mind strong so i think that is the key to success that that is how i won the show because i was very calm i used to just breathe and i used to just talk to myself and i used to just 
रिमेम्बर माई मदर ऑल द टाइम दैट माई मदर रियली वॉन्टेड मी टू विन खतरों के खिलाड़ी शी रियली वॉन्टेड मी टू विन सो आई थिंक इट्स बिकॉज ऑफ अ ब्लेसिंग एंड माई कामनेस विच आर जेनरली नॉट आई वॉन्ट द शो Coming to a big boss. Big boss is a total mind uh, game. You have to be mentally and only mentally strong there. You have to keep your mind sane because you lose your sanity when you enter that house. A, you're locked up. There is a big tala right there, which is on your face. That you cannot step this boundary. That only psychs you. If you are not <clears throat> mentally strong, that psychs you that you can't step out of this place at all. You are stuck this. So you stuck here with fourteen contestants, fourteen to fifteen contestants. So that is that plays on your mind. So how you keep your sanity? Then there are a lot of fights, there are a lot of arguments, there is a lot of judging, uh, there is a lot of food issues. So basically, both the reality shows require a lot of mental strength and a lot of physical strength. And um, if you don't have that, you can't go. And I'm very glad that you know with experience. and with my childhood struggle and all that i am mentally strong so that really helped actually you know you just mentioned lot of things here when we look as a viewer uh, on the that television screen it is so easier for us to uh, you know imagine you in that place and we get all our emotions uh, coming up crawling up seeing those creep creepy animals there but surely that's uh, an immense amount of mental strength which is required uh, and something related to this as you mentioned that in big boss you're with different kinds of personalities and you have to deal with all of them they they're very different in every sense similarly your students will also be entering the corporate world or the legal arena where they have to work in teams they have to you know deal with different kinds of personalities right. so what is the right way to do that according to you i think um, just be yourself be true to yourself and uh, do not play mind games with anybody um i just feel you need to be, you need to stand out um you know because you might just get lost in that whole new world of corporate or maybe um creativity you know a lot of people will go in that creative uh, career also a lot of people will go in the banking zone a lot of people will go in the um, the the corporate zone you just have to somewhere you know find that space where you can fit in with your talent with your energy with your mind and just be true to yourself and true to your job and i think that's how we'll achieve success great as lockdown was a trivial time for all of us how did you utilize it and did you discover or explore anything new about you any new skill yeah so i discovered three things uh, a i discovered that i do have patience Uh, okay <laughs> i didn't know that i can sit at home uh, for months for days um you know and uh, spend time um, at home just doing nothing you know because we are creative uh, people uh, we need to constantly have that uh, creativity or that you know acting uh, sets or that um, ambiance where there is uh, work and there is uh, fashion and there is yeah Yeah. Yeah, but all that is just not there and you're just at home doing absolutely nothing. So for the first time I felt guilt-free uh, uh happiness that I am sitting at home doing okay. not doing you know. So A I built a lot of patience. B um I was always good in cooking food but I didn't know that I can cook uh, I can bake. So I started baking in this lockdown. You know, I know a lot of people started baking, but my baking was really appreciated. And uh, I baked for all my friends, my neighbors, my mother, and I baked healthy, non-healthy also. And it turned out really, really good. Like really, really good. So that was one thing. And the third thing is, uh, I like music. So I just picked up my neighbor's guitar, uh, and I started strumming because I had learned in my school also, in my college also. So that thing was always there in me. so i started strumming couple of uh, strings and it just it, it just calms my mind you know i love music a lot so any form of music uh, i love so i kind of tried that also so are we expecting an album from your and very soon no no not at all okay great yeah. well it will be a pleasure to hear that someday yeah 
You know, all of us know that how successful and talented you are as an actress and a model. But uh, as a teenager, what was your first career choice? Hmm. Uh, I want. I was confused between um, uh, joining an ad agency, any any ad, uh, uh, advertising agency, say a Lintas. I had actually uh, gone and met them also. um there was this uh, company called lintas there is still a company called lintas there were a lot of companies where i just wanted to go and just be behind the camera um give creative ideas because i thought that i can be creative then i was confused um with uh, air hostess since i'm tall a mm-hmm. um, lot of my friends told me why don't you um give it a try in air hosting so i had, i was about to fill a fill a form also i didn't then um i love to preach people i love to give lot of gyan to a lot of people so i thought i, I let me let me become a general um, a teacher to my students you know just small small students i should just like become a teacher or something that also i thought and i in fact my first job before acting was that only my first job was i took uh, classes uh, because i was at home i didn't know what to do uh, i wanted to just earn a little bit of money and help my family so mm-hmm. i took one student who was in fourth standard and one student who was in fifth standard and i taught them science and maths and i'm not very good at right. <laughs> but at least fourth and fifth to stu- standard i could manage so i did it and uh, i earned um, 1500 bucks 750 750 each and i earned 1500 and a month and that was my first ever salary first ever fee i would say and i used to always give it to my mother and i used to tell my mother that little bit just remove for god and the rest you can just spend it so for that time 1500 was also decent enough for two students so yeah and then gradually i started giving auditions and then you know things unfolded so now we have everything on your platter your platter is always full singing dancing cooking teaching <laughs> i can't teach anymore <laughs> No, but you are. At least you're inspiring people how to act in a brilliant way. Right, right. Uh, so when you decided that you want to become a model, that was your ultimate career choice, the first one, I suppose. Were there any hurdles which you had to overcome? Um, there were hurdles, as in, uh, very long, uh, very pale. So all these things were there. and uh, nahi isko nahi lete hai isko lete hai so all these things were there see all these options in this industry is there our industry is the most difficult industry i would say because um, a you are just rejected maybe on your physical appearance maybe uh, on how you look or maybe on how you talk or maybe you just don't fit the character so for modeling also like um, i wanted to get into the beauty pageant but for some reason i didn't i just thought that maybe i wouldn't be able to uh, pull it off so i didn't do that um but in modeling um i hardly did modeling you know i only did like maybe um salwar suit catalogs or maybe just walk the ramp couple of times and did endorsement for my skin and hair and all that so i've just done modeling for like good 7 8 months and then i got into balaji straight up so yeah so ultimately acting acting right we've all heard uh, in one of your interviews uh, i i just mentioned that life is about rejections and you explain that there there will be re- uh, rejections in life so uh, do you think that stepping out is the right thing or one should take an action handle the rejections and work on that yeah yeah handle the rejection for sure and work on uh that because if you don't handle the rejection if you do, if you are not aware of what has happened in your life the best thing about your life is the awareness you need to be aware of what you're doing even if you have say bad qualities or maybe if you have um a uh, few things which are not likable by people there are a lot of things about me uh, which people don't like you know i'm a little um, impulsive i'm a little impatient um i Um, here a little less i talk a little more so for friends and for people for family that becomes a little um uh, you know things which you can control and you can uh, kind of um, alter it so you have, yeah so you have to be with yourself and you have to have the awareness 
if you're not self-aware of what you are doing, then you might just get into that black hole. So if you're getting rejection also, you need to handle it. You have to bloody handle it well, you know. Look into the eye of the rejection and say, fine, and next time I'm going to work harder. Yeah. Probably students here as a lesson, being self-aware is very important. First, very important. Our strengths and weaknesses, I guess. Yeah. Okay, with that, we have another question for you that what are the key things that helped you sustain your unmatched reputation in the industry throughout? Mm, uh, I think the, the, the idea of doing different things all the time, I did modeling and then I wanted to explore acting. And then when I did acting, I wanted to do reality shows. And when I did reality shows, I wanted to do stage. So I did a couple of stage shows also. And after stage, I wanted to do films. And after films, I wanted to do web series, you know. So there were a lot of things uh, which I wanted to do. Uh, the only thing I feel I have sustained in this industry for so many years is um, just being creative, being different, uh, uh, being greedy of uh, doing different, different things, being in the market, uh, taking care of your skin, taking care of your looks, taking care of the physical appearance, because in our industry, uh, physical appearance is very important. You know, that's my bread, bread, you know, earner, I would say. That's the only um, way we sustain. So we have to uh, look healthy, pretty, skin has to be healthy, hair has to be healthy, we have to look fit. So all of this, we uh, have to concentrate a lot. So I think I try um, my best to um, look fit, to look fine, um, you know, to keep my skin hydrated, to uh, work out. So that's how, you know, people say that, okay, okay, karishma kulete, karishma kulete, you know. So that happens with a lot of hard work. Right. It's not easy. <laughs> Yeah. Well, surely we can imagine that's not easy and as you said that looking good is important I think it is important for all the industries we we teach our students to be always groomed and you know well dressed because they, it actually helps them stand out of the crowd 100% uh, with this we have just one last question and then we move to our next section uh, looking at your life journey we want to know how to grow as an individual and how to stay determined always constantly <laughs> i think uh, with experience comes growth i feel uh, if you know you get the right kind of experience um you grow in life i think i have grown with um, a lot of ups and downs uh, you know when i entered this industry i hardly had any experience i hardly knew um how the world is how people are around me uh, how am I supposed to behave? How am I supposed to uh, be with them? So I've, I've had my share of um, uh, sadness, my share of lows also. And then that has kind of taught me what is dunya dari, if you understand what is uh, reality. Uh, with that experience, I have grown in life. So that's um, a part of growth, I feel. And that's how you grow. And determined is, I think, something very personal. Um, I have never learned to give up in life um, because, uh, you know, uh, when I was born, my it's very personal, but I will share with all the students. When I was born, um, my grandma and my grandfather were not very happy because I was a girl again, because my, my mother already had one uh, daughter. And after three years, she was pregnant. And then again, she got a daughter. So my grandmom and granddad were not very happy that Are, phir se ladki paida hui. because according to them, kuch nahi karti hai. they just get married and they are just handling household work. You know, I'm talking about back then again. Mm -hmm. Now, really, world has evolved and the kind of um, work and the way, you know, women have leaped is next level. You know, I love that about all of them. Being Having said that, even uh, men, have really progressed. They have become really aware. They've become really smart, and they have the de determination to, you know, work harder. So I'm very happy, and hence I have been uh, determined, and I have been very strong-headed and strongly opinionated because uh, I have seen that hardship. I have seen that, you know, girls uh, can't do uh, a lot of things. So I wanted to always prove it to my family, and I wanted to prove it to the world, and most importantly, I wanted to prove it to myself. 
that I can do it. So that's why I was very determined. And I want everybody who's listening to me to be absolutely determined and absolutely strong headed and say that, you know what, we will create history. An extremely beautiful lesson coming uh, here. And now we move on to our little surprise section, which is a rapid fire round. So as the name says, you have to be rapid and there has to be a lot of fire in your answers, whatever oh is God. honest. Okay. Which comes to your mind first. I'm sure the questions are very easy. Uh, okay, so let's start. Yeah. Okay, great. You are a favorite actor, celebrity for so many people, but who's your favorite actor and actress? Wow. So my favorite actor has to be Rishi, sir. I love Rishi Kapoor. Um, I think um, he's extremely talented. He's very expressive. And when he comes on screen, my heart just melts. So I uh, used to love Rishi, sir, and I still love him. After Rishi, sir, um, oh, this is rapid fire. So Rishi, sir, and female uh, Madhuri ma'am. Okay, great. How different is a celebrity life from a normal or a common man's life? And which one do you prefer? I prefer both. I mean, I enjoy both the worlds. I like the real life also and I like the real life also. Otherwise, there's no fun. You see, this is an objective question. So so one answer probably. Uh, the, the, the real life, the on, on camera life. On camera, so celebrity life, great. Who or what is your go-to? Number one is stress buster. Music. Gossip corner. <laughs> My balcony. Shit. Okay, but uh, probably if I say who is your go-to gossip corner? Who as in person? Yeah. Um... Uh... I have a friend called Tanuj, Tanuj Garg. He's, he's uh, a producer and a very dear friend. So yeah, I we gossip a lot. Okay. And it's a lot of fun. Great. Your go-to part-time or pastime? Go-to pastime? I think drives. I like drives. I thought eating Pani Puri. We've heard oh, that's so many times. Okay, that's your favorite. That's my pastime. No, no. I will become fat. If I have to cheat, I go to Pani Puri. Oh my God. Why did you say it? Oh. <laughs> Professor, why did you say it? We, we know it. <laughs> Probably we can send some after this interview. Okay. okay. Last guilty pleasure. Pizzas. Okay. Great. One quality in a person which helps you bond with him or her. Loyalty. I need loyalty. For sure. Yeah. I okay. can't do if the person is not loyal. I just, I just, it's a cut off for me. No way. <laughs> Great. Rank in order of importance. Money, fame, passion and peace. Peace. Okay. Passion. Money. Fame. So peace, passion, money. No, and sorry, peace, peace, uh, money, mm -hmm. fame. With fame comes passion. Of with passion comes fame. Passion and then fame. Yeah. Okay, great. So probably money has climbed up the ladder. Yeah. Which is true. Which we all yeah. need. Yeah. Okay, physical health or mental health? What do you want in West modern? Both, yeah. I mean, if, if you're not mentally fine, how will you be physically fine? But yeah, mental health first. Okay. What comes to your mind when you hear the following words? Friendship. Who comes in my mind or what? What What comes to your mind? Forever. Forever. Friendship is forever. College time. Hmm? College time. A beautiful memory. Love. Still discovering. <laughs> Great. Life. Um, going on. Work. Tachur, very good. And future. Bright. Right. What is your immediate future goal? Uh, immediate future goal to be um, content and be happy. I think that's my immediate future goal. I need to be happy. Work keeps coming, Tachur, but it's very important to be happy. 
Okay. Any social issue uh, which is prevalent in the Indian society on which you probably plan to make a movie or at least be part of it? I think I am very, very, very attached to animals. So if given a chance, uh, after a few years, I would definitely um, make a little difference uh, in the society by having uh, a couple of hospitals for uh, animals, for strays. Um, have a beautiful big acre um, properties where I can keep all of them mm -hmm. uh, and survive with them. So I think I will definitely open an NGO in the near future. So that's definitely my um, plan and I will make it happen after a few years. Okay. What is your go-to dance move? How <laughs> um, we can... I don't have a go-to dance move. I just like to groove like that, like that. I don't have a dance move as such. Okay, your favorite song and movie? Movie, I like Khun Bhari Mang a lot. I love Khun Bhari Mang. I can watch again and again. Uh, movie and the song also can be from that same film. I like that song. Right, and last question. Who is your role model? Oh, so many people. Rekha ma'am, Sri Devi ma'am, Madhuri ma'am. The list is on. Okay, great. Well, an excellent performance, I would say. And we got to know a lot about you today. Now, I think we've created a lot of hustle and bustle among students who are waiting for the results to be out. So let's go ahead with the grand finale because they all must be really excited to know who the finalists are and ultimately... Wow. Yeah. So the moment is here, I think, and without taking any more time, I would like to release some of the names and the tension amongst all of you by announcing the finalists. But before I announce the finalists, I would again like to applaud each one of you who participated. Your videos were extremely very creative and we actually celebrated uh, seeing your talent. Okay, so um, actually we have a small video tribute where we are showcasing all the videos that we received in small bits and pieces. So we uh, can we have a, a small video glimpse of the, the kind of talent that we have? round of applause I guess for all of them who actually uh, they, they put forward their best foot and uh, sitting at their home sitting uh, you know with limited resources they all managed to managed, yeah. Yeah. yeah so I think now we should move on and declare our 10 finalists the shortlisted students for the talent hunt competition 2020 as long as we live, there is never enough singing. On that note, we have our very first finalist of the day, Abdul Hanan. Can we have his video, please? 
She surely is a good example and she has mesmerized all of us with her dance performance. Can we have her video please? Chitte suit pe daag pe gaye Chitte suit pe daag pe gaye Gali teri vich gaara Chitte suit pe daag pe gaye Gali teri vich gaara Ve kaniyan ch main pij gayi Ve kaniyan ch main Great. I hope you liked her dance performance. Yes, I did. <laughs> Next, we have that a good. Uh, we always know that it is always good to keep ourselves fit. However, our next finalist, Vikas Kumar Sharma, seems to have taken his fitness to next levels, and his video has left us spellbound. Can we have his video, please? <laughs> Effort. I'm sure we have tough competition. We have with us someone who sings as well as plays musical instruments as she has left an impression on all of us. The next finalist, we are very sure that she will keep us impressing in future as well. She is Bhumika Singh. Can we have her video please? Bye. Bye. Thank you so much Pumika for this amazing video. Next we have with us as energetic as possible our fifth finalist for this event Ekta Chauhan who seems to be good enough to set any stage on fire. So tell you she is a bundle of energy and that is what she has displayed in her dance performance. Can we have a video please?
Thank you so much, Ekta. Probably we needed some Western classical as a part of the grand finale. And yes, we do have one amongst us, Elizabeth. She's our sixth finalist. Can we have her video, please? video yes i did okay rap is what attracts the modern day youth certainly they shall be thrilled on listening to our next finalist for the day gagan dinesh mishra can we have his video please नई नई लाइफ मेरी इच्छाओं से कॉम्प्रोमाइज मेरी घर पे जब मैं रहता था ना मॉम कर थी फाइट मेरी कहती भूखे नहीं सोते बेटा थोड़ा सा तो कुछ खा ले लेकर बनाई मैंने डिशे साजे सारी तेरी पसंद वाले डट कहते बेटा अब थोड़ी से हद तो तू बना ले थोड़े कैश थोड़े आलमंड थोड़े अखरोटो तू खा ले देख ला के रखे मैंने सारे ब्रांड न्यू वाले नव यू हैव अट गुड हाई तू लगा ले थोड़े बैसे थोड़े ट्रेस थोड़ी बॉडी तू बना ले फैल रहा है कोरोना स्टार्ट डूइंग योगा एट होम अब थोड़ी इम्यूनिटी तू बना ले सुसो कहती छोटे दो मेरे अपना ध्यान रखो प्यारे अभी तो हम है साथ तुम्हारे क्या करोगे जब पढ़ जाओगे अकेले हॉस्पिटल में कॉलेज के तुम्हारे ए एल सी नोएडा वाले देखो नई नई लाइफ मेरी नई नई लाइफ मेरी नई नई लाइफ मेरी खुद से खुद ही खुद की इच्छाओं से कॉम्प्रोमाइज मेरी खुद में खुद से खुद ही खुद की इच्छाओं से कॉम्प्रोमाइज मेरी नई नई लाइफ मेरी नई नई लाइफ मेरी गुड रैप वेल आई गेस दैट वाज क्वाइट एन एनर्जेटिक परफॉर्मेंस या इट वाज ओके सो मूविंग अहेड वी हैव आवर एथ फाइनलिस्ट Does any one of you know or have a look at the classical dance? If yes, then we shall be thrilled to see the performance of our next finalist, Mega Pant. Can we have a video, please? Thank you, Mega, for such an exclusive performance. And we have just last two entries left. Number nine. Some of us would like to have sportsperson over here. Yes, we do have someone who seems to possess 
great tuning skills. Let us welcome our next finalist, Pranav Khai. Hello everyone, my name is Pranav Khai. Right now I'm going to use some of the skills in the food table. So let's go. Inside, <laughs> new, hang, go, go, yeah. Roll up in the club Never. and shit. All eyes on me. All eyes on me. You know what? I bet you got it twisted. You don't know who to trust. So many player hating niggas trying to sound like us. Say they ready for the funk, but I don't think they know it. Straight to the depths of hell is where them cowards going. Well, all you still down, nigga, holler when you see me. And let these devils be sorry for the day they finally freed me. I got a caravan of niggas. Time we ride, hitting motherfuckers up when we pass by Until I die, live a life of a boss player Cause even when I'm high, fuck with me and get boss later The future's in my eyes, cause all I want is cash and things A five double low, being something flashy brand How is it according to you? Uh, I, I'll talk after the 10th of this thing is over. Okay, last one is that uh, something again in classical music and dance performance. Our last finalist is Mayuri Priya. Can we have a video please? favorite song by the way i mean one of the favorite songs oh great so probably now is the most difficult moment where we want you to uh, release all the tension and declare uh, who the winner is of young asian talent uh, finally hmm. see i have confusion i have a tie can i discuss everybody's hearing me is it Everybody is hearing you and probably they want to know the winner. Oh God, okay. Hmm. I have a tie. Can I talk about those three? Sure, they'll be really glad to know. But the ultimately first... you'll have to announce once. Yeah, yeah. See, what caught my eye and my attention was the, um, the girl who was playing the piano. Okay. Falling in love with you, that song. Okay. The second one was the the singer who was singing, the female. Okay. I don't know the names, but. Okay, I'll find out the names for you. So, so the first so one was singing with the mic and she was singing. Okay, that's the first one, which is Elizabeth. No, the with the piano was the. With the piano was Bhumika, I think. Okay, Bhumika, yeah, right. Yeah. And with the mic who was singing a song was, I think, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, right. And the rapper. I liked because it was his creativity of lyrics. Right, so Gagan Dinesh Mishra. Hmm. Okay, well, congratulations firstly to the three of them. <laughs> Oh God, don't make me do this. Now probably uh, we need one name. You tell me your likes. No, I okay. think that will be biased. Now these students will come around and they'll, uh, you know, get over me for doing this. You do the honors. <laughs> um. 
the guy who rapped uh, mm -hmm. uh, created his own lyrics right yes completely the girl who sang was elizabeth and the girl who sang that song was humika humika right i think i would go with the rapper oh okay so do we have a winner here yes the winner is uh, the rapper what is his name gagan dinesh gagan dinesh Okay, great. Well, congratulations to Gagan Dinesh Mishra for winning the Talent Hunt Competition 2020. And not just the winner and a trophy and a certificate. I think the most exciting part is the Apple iWatch, which of oh. course he is the one today with this competition. And Gagan, if you are here with us, we would like if you can speak two words. Yeah, come, please come. Hey, yes, Hello. Congratulations! I'll tell you the reason why I picked you because you used your mind. You used all the creative words which you um, kind of felt it in the lockdown, and you made it into a rap. So you made an effort, is what I liked, you know. Because see, that's the moral of the story. Always try to be creative. Always try to be different. um always use your talent i could see that you have that kind of talent in you you know because rapping and creating your own lyrics is very very difficult so i can see that you've invested time in it and that's why you are my winner so congratulations gagan thank, thank you so much thank you so much ma'am thank you so much take this talent ahead um in whatever field you want to go always be different always be creative always um be self aware and uh, you know always um, understand that this life this world is you know has ups and downs okay you can click the picture later hold on i'll show <laughs> you you will get But, the video gagan don't yeah, worry you know there are a lot of ups and downs in life life can be harsh sometimes life can be extremely perfect sometimes so just be confident uh, be positive and just try to shine out every time Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so congratulations much. to all the other contestants. You guys did fab job, fab, fab job. Doesn't mean if we have a winner, the other person um, is a loser. It's not that. Everybody's done really well. Everybody's uh, put in their hundred percent. But uh, in the end, you know, um, winner to ek hi hota hai. Um, ye reeth hai pure dunia ka. <laughs> so we've got one but uh, yes you guys are winner in your real life and all the best for all of you all to all of you all and all the best for your career also thank you so much ma'am thank you so Don't much don't even click a picture now <laughs> <laughs> well thank you so much gagan and heartiest congratulations once again well all the students i guess you all must be stunned to see the kind of talented vibrant and dexterous colleagues you all have and this is not just extremely motivating for all of us but also a moment of pride to see all of you participate and believe in yourself each one of us here is extremely very glad to have you amongst our umbrella under our umbrella i would say and i know this will be a tough call but this was indeed a tough call but i think each one of you are very special to us lastly i would like to thank our ex esteemed guest for this event who made this event worthwhile in such a and showcased it in a such a grand way we are extremely very very delighted to have you amongst us and on the behalf of directors of faculty members students and the entire ag family i extend a heartiest vote of thanks to you for being here and gracing us with your presence being so open about your life experiences and learning and we would like to acknowledge your presence by uh, by showcasing and by presenting a memento can we have the memento oh how sweet thank you Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the competition and being with us. Thank you so much. I loved it. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. We look forward to a continued association with 100%. you. One hundred percent.